Hello YouTubers, uh, GS owners, 1200 GS owners. Welcome back. This is the fourth video of my series on the timing chain cover for the, uh, the GS. And I have got the cover back on. I thought I'd just take you through um, the process. Uh, I did some more cleaning of the surfaces on the cover and I found the best way of getting the old um, sealant off is actually a soft cloth like this. It works really well. No need to use abrasives, just rub hard with a nice soft cloth and the sealant comes off, as you can see, see here, so it doesn't cause any damage. I tried to do a video actually uh, to show you me doing that, but it's difficult to do it with one-handed. Uh, I applied the sealant here. Um, I found that um, the nozzle I'd used first time around a couple of weeks back um, must have been bunged up and gone in the bin. So um, I ended up squirting uh, the stuff into a syringe. You can get these from Sainsbury's from their cooking section. People always feel like injecting stuff into meat, uh, tenderizers and stuff. And so you can get these syringes, not very expensive. No need to use the needle on it. I just fill the thing up and it gives a nice fine fine bead of sealant so that was really good uh, getting the uh, cover back on just go to the bike a few words I did check before I put the sealant on that it did locate properly there are two dowels top bottom to make sure it locates properly and um, well, I got it on and got the started to do the uh, the bolts up, but then realised it wasn't properly located at the the top end. There was a gap, um, so of course you need to make sure all the bolts are slack. And then I had to carefully tap the uh, the top in until I could feel it locating properly on the dowel, and then it, it all bedded down, and that was fine. Um, but that's just something to watch out for because if you start. If you've got it located down here and then you start tidying up, it won't then locate easily at the top here. It has to be square on to, uh, for the dowels to, um, to slot in happily. So we've done that. Um, and this is the tool for putting the seal in, which I'll just remove. I'll talk you through having this made. Um, Go back to the workshop. I've done a diagram I'll talk you through. The Haynes manual does give a little diagram of what you need to have made up. And uh, I won't show you the Haynes because it'll be copyright and whatever. But essentially it shows a, um, a tapered off uh, shape like this. 30mm uh, diameter at the top, 36 at the bottom. And the one I got uh, made up is... 40 mil high. Uh, then it shows the uh, the locating ring here, which is 36 uh, diameter hole, which means it goes over the the sleeving device, um, and uh, 55 mil uh, outer diameter. So that's that. It's about 14 mil, 14 mil wide. Uh, but when I got it, it was just that, a solid piece of aluminium. Then I realised, of course, you need to screw it onto the, onto the crankshaft. So I've been to a company in Kidderminster, MAC Engineering on the Hoobrook Estate. And they very kindly um, cut a thread in for me. That thread is a 22M, which is... Uh, what the crankshaft is. So that screws onto the crankshaft and there's a step in it. Uh, you can see that's about a 4mm deep step. Uh, so it's 25mm wide at the aperture there and then it goes to a, an M22 thread of about 25mm depth. But that means that we can screw this onto the, take that off, that's the seal, onto the crankshaft, mm -hmm. carefully, without crossing a thread. Oh, I 
there we go. So that screws on. So the seal goes on uh, the open side inwards that goes on like that. And then this will square it up and make sure that it can't go further in than the outer face of the casing because there's nothing to stop the seal going all the way through and out the other side, which you really wouldn't want to happen. So that's what the purpose of this tool is. Um, and that's why it's, it's a good idea to have something like this made up. A good engineering shop should do this quite reasonably. Um, and it needn't be in, in metal. It could be, I think, done perfectly well in, uh, in nylon. Um, it's not taking any um, any heavy forces or anything. It is only a locating tool. Um, that's that's all it is. So there we go. That's where we're at. The uh, cover is uh, in place. The bolts are torqued up to eight newton meters all the way round. Uh, just wait. Just ready now to progress to the next stage of putting the alternator. Um, pulley on and the alternator belt and then the uh, cover arrangement which goes up there in fact I'll, I'll, I think I'll put the cover up here at the top I'll put that on first um, it's gonna be more difficult with the pulley on so that will be my next video okay bye for now